What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel. And for today's video, your girl is here to bring you another video in my Must Have Must Gag series. This is my series I created inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. I always have her Will I Buy It series and all of the community and the community playlist linked down below, as well as all of the Instagram pages that I follow to get all of this makeup knowledge. I also always have all of the items that I discuss listed and linked down below for you guys, as well as my social medias, foundation shades, all of that jazz. Description box is always packed during these videos, so feel free to just check down there. I did record this look. This look will be coming up during my swagmas very early on, hopefully so do not worry about that and with that said i am recording this on friday the 19th and i am attempting to upload this today as well so it's going to be a late upload but with that in mind realize or just know that i'm going to be uploading pretty much every day and till the end of December now um and there may be one or two days that I actually do two uploads so it's gonna be a bit much but we gonna rock with it we gonna rock with it and yeah I'm excited feeling good I did a good run today so if you're interested in hearing about any of the makeup that I am interested in or I've seen released lately let's get to it so the light is feeling good I'm feeling okay flossy okay flossy this morning when I was doing the look the sunlight was playing me but it's looking good right now so let's start off I don't have that much pinned so hopefully this isn't too long of an episode Laura Lee Los Angeles came out with a blush palette it's eight matte blushes and one shimmer shade so seven matte blushes and one shimmer shade um, all for $28 I think it is a pretty palette. I tend not to reach for pinky blushes a lot. There are some orangey tones which are nice. There's some mauve tones which are nice. But to be quite frank, this past year I have not reached for my palettes. Face palettes, blush palettes, highlighter palettes, whatever. I haven't reached for them as often as I did previously. So for that reason I'm just going to go ahead and pass. But it is a pretty palette. M Ma what is this brand mamsey beauty which looks to be like a beauty supplier they are launching cream bronzers and it looks like a black owned brand so that's why i was really really um intrigued about it and the depth range of their cream bronzes is actually quite impressive so yeah i just i really like it i think it's cool um let's see if i can get the price it just says coming soon so i don't know how much it's going to be yeah i don't know how expensive it's going to be it looks like it has not officially launched oh, okay so they're revamping and relaunching their brand in 2022 i see so i'm assuming then early 2022 these um, particular cream bronzers will be coming out and yeah it looks like a nice range if I was feeling froggy I'd pick it up but it is a UK based brand and I'm trying to not one pick up as much makeup but also two as much international makeup so I'm not positive I'm gonna pick anything up but in case you are somebody who lives in the UK I did want to just go ahead and highlight this brand hollow taco which is a brand I have quite a few uh nail polishes from i think this is actually one of them yeah this is actually one of them right here this is mint money i'm pretty sure i have a swatch photo of this on my nails and if i can find it i will put it on the screen for you guys anyways i have a couple of her nail polishes both the holographic and the um bases and stuff and this is a really really interesting collection i'm very intrigued by a couple of the shades in this collection mainly that brown that brown is so unique and interesting and the black those are the two that i'm interested in this collection there are also a couple from previous collections that i'm still interested in um and i have them in my cart they're still in stock but I'm kind of low-key hoping that she'll have a Black Friday sale. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting patiently. Um, but there are about, like, I want to say five, maybe six nail polishes that I currently have in my cart from this brand that I'm very, very excited to pick up. I have not picked up nail polishes in 
at least six months I want to say so I'm very excited to bring in just a couple of uniquer ones to my collection and I'm now putting nail polish on my nails more regularly in case you're wondering what's on my nails right now it is a multi chrome from ILNP and it's called Dear Santa they have some of the my favorite multi chromes ever I, I love them I really do I don't have very many multi chrome nail polishes but the ones that I do have fire fire okay um so i think this brand used to be muse beauty pro and now they're Kalev Kal Kalva. i don't know beauty they came out with like a springy toned palette um and it launched for 28 dollars it is called the leisure Le Jardin. um and it's cute it really is it's not something that I'm like looking to reach for right now definitely not these lighter tones but I'm also just not like fully interested in the color scheme it's a really pretty color scheme but it's not something I feel like I need to personally bring into my collection so I'm not going to I'm not going to Colourpop has released of course another collection for the holidays and this time it is their collaboration with Rudolph um, I don't know if there's a new movie coming out honestly half of the new movies that are coming out I've not seen or heard about I just that's not even on my radar right now which is scary because I used to be obsessed with watching everything new but I just I don't have the time right now anyways um it's okay collection but I'm not really intrigued by anything at the most I think the that the palette screams Christmas, which is great. And I think this is a cheaper and extended version of the Give Me Glow Christmas palette that they tend to bring out every year. So in case you don't wanna support that brand, cause I know Give Me Glow has like a weird checkered pass with some people um, and you prefer ColourPop or you just wanna get something cheaper or more extended, that might work. Cause I think Give Me Glow, their Christmas palette doesn't necessarily have as many lighter crease shades. So it may not work for somebody um, that doesn't have a bigger collection or that is really dependent on those crease shades. Overall though, there's nothing really in this collection that I'm obsessed with by any means so i'm just gonna go ahead and pass alrighty so M morphe is doing a collaboration with pony makeup i feel like she has done a collaboration with i want to say mac a couple of years ago i may be wrong on that anyways it's a huge huge palette neutrals pinky purple tones maybe one or two blues in that deep bottom corner there are some cheek products all throughout the middle and then there's some lip products and some stickers this is too big of a palette for me but i actually like the color scheme which is why i wanted to kind of talk about this palette i definitely think this could be curated down to like a 16 9 pan palette and it would be a lot more intriguing and i might actually be more invested in picking it up um but i'm good and honestly, I couldn't even tell you, the last Morphe palette I picked up was the Jaclyn Hill. And I literally gave it to a friend because she wanted it. And I was like, I have it. I don't really use it. Do you want it? And she's like, yeah, free. So I gave it to her without even really caring. Dandelion Cosmetics is a brand that I've heard some people talk about, but it hasn't been super hyped up like I feel like some brands really are anyways they're coming out with the palette it is called the snow spell palette and it's cute it's cute I like that their palettes are all depotable um so it's super easy but at the same time there's nothing in this palette that I don't already have especially because the way that this palette is kind of shown it's shown to see that these are literally single shadows just put into a palette right i have empty magnetic palettes i have single shadows up the wazoo so this really doesn't convince me to really pick it up and especially because i haven't heard anything like raving and astounding about this brand i'm not really convinced um and so yeah i'm gonna keep moving forward but i really do appreciate the fact that this brand did swatch on two different skin tones i think it would be nice if in the future they can add a third skin tone in there because you know there are some people who are obviously in the middle of the two skin tones that they represented here but either way 
super happy that they did that the palette is releasing for fifty dollars or you get or you could get the singles for 40 or if you just want one individual single or just a couple of the singles you can get them for four dollars and fifty cents each so overall i like that they can like break it down really nicely or whatever um but just not something i really feel i need so alien cosmetics okay so they are apparently having to rebrand in the next year or so i don't really know a lot about the situation i don't um but they came out with this palette this was the fall themed palette and people went crazy over this palette don't get me wrong this palette looks gorgeous beautiful but the one palette that i got from them i loved that color scheme i still do enjoy the color scheme but i'm not in love with those shimmers and i just i didn't pull the trigger on this and i'm sure let me actually see oh this is their So they are connected through Instagram, which is very interesting. And yeah, the palette is currently sold out, but still on their website. So I assume then that they're going to restock it. I think this is a really, really pretty color scheme. Um, and who knows if I see a review on this and people are really invested in their shimmers, then maybe. But to be quite frank, I don't think I've seen anybody who have not liked their shimmers like I haven't. It was just a very weird consistency and I just I just was not for it. I wasn't for it. But the color scheme is beautiful. I would love to see this color scheme from like a brand that I actually love all of their formulations. Um, but I also would love to hear from you guys if you picked up this palette and you find that the formula of their shimmers are really nice. I would love to hear. Um, yeah, but of course, of unfortunately, their pre-order is already sold out. So um, that pre-order on the website, it said that it was going to be launching or shipping in December. So I'm assuming maybe sometime around December, they'll like reorder the pre-order or they'll restock again and be ready to ship out more there's a sneak peek from touch of glam they have a new collection coming out and it is called the shifty hollow collection this looks insane insane and it's like making me think i know i don't have any holographic sh shimmers this looks beautiful beautiful um i don't really know much at all i'm assuming they already have collections like this hello hollow only a few left in stock yeah so it looks like they already have singles on their website that are holographic which is really really cool i've clearly been away from the single scene single shadow scene for a while and so i didn't know that I'm not gonna rush or run to get any of these, but it's just, that's really, really pretty. The only reason I'm not gonna get any really in the grand scheme of things is because I don't really reach for my singles all that much. I sometimes will reach for them when I'm creating like palettes that I'm inspired by a palette that I don't wanna pick up, but I don't really reach for them enough to justify really picking them up. And Touch of Glam is not cheap and I can only imagine how expensive these are gonna be beautiful but it's just not realistic for me in the way that i am currently using makeup all righty so the next brand i actually have a similar item from the brand so i'm just gonna scoop her up right now. so playing in makeup by yolando is releasing trios of bronzers and they're all matte in both of the duos or both of the palettes and you can tell that they really kind of curated it better for different skin tones. I, so I already have one bronzer palette from them. I got this baby, I wanna say early this year, if not late last year. And these are the only two shades that actually work on me. These two are too light. I honestly need to just give them to my best friend and see if she needs a bronzer. Um, Cause these will work for her. They won't work for me at all. Um, yeah, maybe like under eye setting powder, but like who's gonna do that? Not I. Um, and looking at these trios, now that I'm trying to be more realistic, more cautious of my purchasing makeup wise at least um i'm realizing that 
literally one shade in both of the palettes would be perfect for me. So I kind of wish that these were not trios, but duos and that she coordinated the first two, the middle two and the last two. Um, and so for that reason, I am going to go ahead and pass. But it's interesting to see that she went from a four pan bronzer palette to now trios. And I will say the depth range on those last two shades are definitely more significant than the two that are in here. But these two would just be perfect. Honestly, if I could somehow make this into like a duo, uh, duo and just give her half the palette, I would, but you know, I, I, I can't do that. So keep moving. Mac is doing a collaboration with Lisa. Um, I don't know who Lisa is, which is honestly not surprising. Half the time I don't know who these collaborators are. The highlighter looks pretty. It's in show gold. I don't have that from MAC, but then again, I don't have much from MAC anymore. Um, overall, it's nothing that I am going to run out and get. This is definitely for somebody of a lighter complexion. I don't think half if any of this stuff is really going to show up on me and that's fine. I'm perfectly okay with that and it's just going to help me to continue to save my money and put it towards my loans, investing, whatever. So easy pass for me on that. Give Me Glow is coming out with a new palette and this is coming out on Black Friday and this is called the Bad Witch Club Seasons Fall Palette. This is a beautiful palette. I love the colors. I love the variety. I think you get a nice range of lights and deep shades. I am going to attempt to get this palette. I was not going to purchase from Black Friday or from Give Me Glow on Black Friday, but I am going to attempt to get this one palette. Nothing else. I don't need not anything else. Um, just that one palette. I do have single shadows from Give Me Glow and I do actually enjoy the shades and the formulation and all of that jazz, but I don't reach for them because they're so huge and they put them in like this huge big Z palette. So I would love to get a palette where I can get more use out of the products and hopefully it's depotable. I don't know, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm intrigued and I'm invested in trying to pick this up. The only kind of problem is that Give Me Glow stuff sells out so quickly. I'm not positive I'm going to be able to pick it up, but I am going to try. And I'm sure there are other products on their site that I would be interested in picking up, but I'm not going to. I'm going to focus, streamline, and center <laughs> on that palette. Hopefully I don't get invested in any other palettes that they've had in the past that I have not pulled the trigger on. I'm going to try my best not to do it. Um, but it does look like they're doing like a massive restock on Black Friday. So excited. We'll see. We'll see what I pick up. Um, hopefully I'm able to be strong. Although you know what? No. I'm, I'm gonna stick with just eyeshadow palettes. I don't wanna bring in any lip products, although I really did enjoy a lot of the formulas, the formula that I got and the color that I got from Give Me Glow's liquid lipstick. So I will give you guys that. Alrighty, keeping it going. Glow by Auric, or just Auric, um, has launched two new shades in her cream formula for the holidays. And she also launched a new uh, shimmer, Thing. let me let me get it so I can show you guys she also launched a new glow lust it is for I believe like the tan aspect of her shade range um, I'm perfectly happy with my shade and in case you're wondering my shade is an axonite it's pretty much a dead-on for being my complexion but just adding some luminosity to it so I really enjoy that as for the two cream duos that she added they look beautiful. She chose really, really nice colors. I, I, I love everything about them, but, but um, I don't use cream shadows very often and I cannot justify it, nor will I. So I am gonna say congratulations to her on a probably another huge and successful launch, but I will be passing on these two shades. So a brand that, in my opinion, kind of came out of nowhere uh, is Blend Bunny Cosmetics. So this is apparently an influencer 
owned brand. I don't know who the influencer is. I don't follow them, or at least I don't think so. Um, and a lot of people have been raving about their formula, their eyeshadow formula, saying that it's now their favorite um, formula and their favorite rainbow palette and all of that. She has two palettes, but what she's coming out with now, I think it's, I think, I don't know what the brand is coming out with now are a set of eyeshadow brushes and these are more detail oriented and I must say I'm actually very interested in these and I'm interested in these because it's stopping me from potentially picking up some things from Beauty Base. So I was considering buying some brushes from Makeup by Mitchell's brand through Beauty Bay because of Black Friday and they were having, the brand is on sale and then there's like an additional 10% off that you can put on all items. But I would prefer to stay in the United States, one, and also I'm kind of intrigued to potentially pick up a brush by, or not just a brush, I'm sorry, a palette by this brand. They have two different palettes. One of the palettes actually has shimmers and mattes and the other one is just mattes. I'm intrigued, of course, by the one that has shimmers and mattes. So we shall see, um, I'm sure, I don't really know um, if it's in stock or anything like that, but I'm just intrigued to try the brand. But I wanna wait until I take a better look at my eyeshadow palette collection and see what I actually have. And do I need a rainbow palette in my collection or to bring a new one in? But I am intrigued by these brushes and if when I make a purchase for that palette that I'm intrigued by, if the brushes are in stock, I will be picking them up. I do have quite the cup of small brushes these are all small detail oriented brushes different sizes different shapes um but i i do a lot of detail work at least i feel like i do i attempt to put it that way so having more brushes and then not having to clean my brushes as often good soup and if you want to buy these, you can apparently get a 10% off with the code Millie. And I think that's, um, what is her name on YouTube? I don't know her name on YouTube, but I'll do my best to link her channel down below. I think that's her brand because her name is Millie or not her brand. I think that's her code because her name is Millie. Okay, some more single shadows. Terra Moon Cosmetics is launching some new multi-chrome shades and these look pretty they look pretty again um but once again for me it's just kind of one of those things that i have so many pretty shadows multi-chromes duochromes glittery shades foils mattes all of them and in between but i don't reach for them at the consistency that i do my palettes so i'm trying not to buy as many single shadows plus all the single shadows that i have i do really enjoy creating palettes that are mimicking color schemes that I see. So I just, I don't, I don't need it. I already do that and I will be featuring that palette hopefully soon. I need to figure out when I can fit that in though. Who knows, who knows? Alrighty, keeping it going. Alamar Cosmetics is coming out with a new collection and it launches on the 18th, so yesterday when I'm filming this or yesterday hopefully when I upload this and it is called the Enchanto Collection. And I must say, this collection is actually interesting. I am very, very intrigued. I like the color scheme. I like the different mattes and shimmers. I wish there were a couple more mattes. I wish there's maybe even a purple matte, but I like it, I like it. I even like the blushes. That one dark, dark blush, like dark red orangey blush, beautiful. The highlighter, beautiful. I am intrigued. I am intrigued by enough that I may go to the website and see if it's still in stock, see how expensive it is. Let's see if Trim Mood actually said on the post. She did, okay. So the eyeshadow palette is $32. Um, the mirror is 18, the lip liners are 13, the liquid, the liquid liner is 14, the lip glosses are 16, the brushes are 17, like I said, the palette's 32. And then there's some like combinations and the highlighter is 21. Um, not really expensive pricing at all for this to be a collaboration with Disney. And I'm intrigued. We'll see. We'll see if I pick something up. I'm not running, but I'll, I'll, I'll do a brisk walk. 
not a brisk walk. I'll do a walk. I'm, I'm not going to do a brisk walk. Let's let's not hold ourselves accountable. Give me our glow recipe is coming out with a new product. It's launching early December and this is their plum plump hyaluronic cream. And there are no real details. What does that say? Dewy moisture plus plump. I will say I bought a gift holiday gift kit with a bunch of their skincare i want to say like two three years ago i really did enjoy that skincare i really did there was nothing problematic it didn't mess with my skin and i do have kind of sensitive skin when it comes to skincare and just products in general especially when it comes to fragrance i had no problems with this brand um but i just recently picked up a huge tub of moisturizer um, and I pretty much restocked on all of my skincare, so I really don't need this and I'm not gonna force myself to get it, but I will, you know, see any reviews and go from there. Juvia's Place. Oh my gosh. So Juvia's Place came out with their holiday collection and it features two different palettes. One that has like a more periwinkle color scheme with some silvers and then one that is more teal and red. I kind of like the teal and red one kind of I'm not fully convinced that I need it and funny enough so right now Juvia's Place is actually doing 12 days of sales pretty much on their website and yesterday was a, ver a day where they discounted two palettes that I was heavily interested in for 50% off they're like eyeshadow primer was 40% off and I need a new eyeshadow primer because I'm running low on the one that I have that's like a lighter uh, tone and I put it in my cart and I said if it's still available by the time I get home from work then I'll consider it more heavily thankfully one of the two palettes were no longer available and it's actually what I showed you so it was I was interested in two of their quads so they had their like light minty quad and then the dark like army quad so I decided look in your singles see if you have it I have it so now what I think I'm gonna do is actually look into my singles again to see if I can create that tealy red uh, six pan I'm sure I can honestly I have an obscene amount of singles um, and then I think what I'm gonna do is do a video just creating a look maybe a couple of looks featuring that palette that has three of Juvia's Place's color schemes in there um, I do really like Juvia's Place's oh my god where is this hair this is this is too much put a wig on one day and the wig is acting up where is this hair? I will not continue. There it goes. Okay. All right. Whew. That was a struggle. Um, where was I? Yeah, I'm just, as much as I love Julie's Place, the formula is really, really nice. It's for a very good discount. And honestly, I would never recommend anybody buy Juvie's Place full price because they always have sales and their sales are pretty much always like 50 or 40 percent off like who who's gonna buy you full price sis not I um but I just I want to use what I have I have so much and the idea of potentially moving within the year 2022 I don't need these little six pants plus I know from past experience that I do not reach for six pans on a regular because they tend not to have everything that I want now what I will say is this um, six pan the one that I'm more so interested in the six pan uh, blue red right she's pretty and she's cute my phone does not want to load so I can't physically look at it where is it oh, hot scratch it googly moogly where is it where are you there we go so what I appreciate about this palette is that there are light tones and mid tones but there are no deep tones like with this palette I would love it had there been like a black so you can deepen it up now granted I have a black so what am I saying here but at the same time the idea of having to not only reach for the palette but then also find a black it's a bit much for my lazy self um, what I'm gonna do is see if I can build my own perfect version of this with my single shadows and before I upload this video I will put on the screen right cha if I was able to 
if I wasn't, maybe I'll end up picking it up because I still do want to try Juvia's places, um, uh, their primer. Um, and so maybe I'll pick up the primer and one of these palettes. But I'm just trying to be more realistic. And speaking of which, I also pinned the quads that I was thinking about picking up because I wanted to talk to you guys about them. And like I said, I created my own perfect version in my single shadows. And knowing that I don't even pick up a six pan, why would I pick up a quad? And I really only wanted them because those mint shades just look so unique. And thinking about it, I'm like, do I even have any mint shades in my collection? I think not. And then I go to my singles and I find them. So I really don't need these palettes at all. I don't need the, the greens. I don't need the mints. And the other two aren't as intriguing. So easy pass on those. Okay, Haas Labs has come out with a new palette. And this is Love for Sale. I think that this is intriguing on the back end of the other part of her holiday collection. I think that other holiday collection just seems so luxe and luxurious and then you get to this and it's like back to basic betty i it, are there two different creative designers here like what's going on regardless this is not something that i'm interested in it's a little too basic for me not reaching the types of undertones and the types of depth or whatever um that i am particularly interested in when it comes to neutral palettes so it is going to be a pass for me all right, I'm gonna save that to the end and this is the end, so that works out. Okay, so there are quite a few sales going on. Pat McGrath currently is doing uh, a tiered sale where you can get 25% off, 30% off, and 35% off. I did go ahead and pick up the, um, what did I pick up? I picked up the blush palette. I just need to literally pick it up from my PO box, so I will do that eventually. Um, also, Melt Cosmetics. So I picked up the um, Amore E Mariposa collection. Well, not the collection, child, no. I picked up the palette and they threw in a liquid lipstick, which I'm not mad at because it's a shade that I will actually use. Um, but anyways, I picked up the palette because they had a 25% off code and I was very intrigued to see how that quality would fare compared to the other quality that I've had. Um, what else what else there's so many other brands the, there was a brand that i talked about earlier that had a discount code on their website touch of glam is going to be having 25 percent off starting november 23rd um there's so many sales going on and for me thankfully i feel like i've kind of curved or quenched that thirst for, that I was having for a minute where I was just shopping, 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 just shopping up a storm. And I think it's kind of dual reason, right? One, I'm really intrigued by getting into the investment market right now. And so I'm really working on positioning myself in that situation. But also there are just so many sales going on right now that I am just flustered. It's too much too many y'all are just packing whack 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 just whacking me everywhere okay and it's just doing too much my emails have been flooded with discount codes sales this that and it's a bit much it's a bit much but regardless out of all the things that i said um that i'm interested in like i said i'm gonna try and shop my stash again for that one particular Juvia's Place palette that I have not already kind of created my perfect version of. I'm still going to really try my best, if at all possible, to get that Give Me Glow palette. I didn't say it's $54, which is typical for their pricing. Um, I will potentially look at the Olimar palette. I'm not really convinced. And Blend Bunny, if they have a discount on black friday then i will potentially pick some stuff up from them too so who knows i i will be intrigued to see what happens and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you literally tomorrow with another video so yeah i'll see you guys then